guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? Welcome back to another edition of the Summer League series where Sam and I go over the Celtics Summer League roster. I believe by the time you're seeing this, the first Summer League game is tonight. Uh, I think when this is yes. supposed to come out. Um, today, this will, 3.30. Yes, today. So this is the last Summer League series preview we will be doing of this year's team. Uh, we did J.D. Davis yesterday, so if you want to go see our video on him, check that out. Today, we are taking a look at Mr. Kamar Baldwin, who played for the main Celtics this past season. He was undrafted in 2020. He is currently 25 years old, uh, six foot one, so a smaller guard. Uh, he played for the Atlanta Celtics for his AU team, which is kind of funny. He's from Georgia. He went to Butler, spent four years there. So there's the Brad Stevens connection for you. Um, and in the G League this past year, he started in all 31 games for the Celtics, averaged 34 minutes a night, which was probably close to up there with the most <clears throat> on the main Celtics if I went through and, and and took a look at the stats. I don't know if I can find that here. Um, most minutes per game on the main Celtics uh, is correct. He averaged 14.8 points, 4.9 rebounds, 5.7 assists, 1.6 deals, only 2.1 turnovers, 46.9% from the field, 36.7% from three. Pretty good splits, pretty well-rounded player. He seems like the type of player you would like, Sam. I mean, 15, 5, and a 6. Sounds like your type of guy. <laughs> couple steals. Yeah, there you go. Uh, again, spent four years at Butler. Uh, played more and more each season, except took a little dip in his senior season. Uh, 10, Big 16, 17, 16. College. My goodness. <clears throat> a lot of scoring. 16 points a game his senior season. Uh, 4.6 rebounds, 3.3 assists. Um, very, or not very efficient, but 42% from the field. I was reading this as his three-point percentage. 33% from three. So he improved his splits in the G League, which is a pretty good sign. Um, we're going to take a look at some college highlights, uh, and some highlights from a triple double he had in the G league apologies in advance. The highlights here are from the NBA G league. I'm not sure if they'll let us post it to YouTube without covering it. If there is a cover over the screen with a little bit of opaqueness, apologies. If not, never mind, ignore me, but let's take a look at Kamar Baldwin's triple double in the G league against the Wisconsin herd, the Bucks G league team. Um, <clears throat> Kamar Baldwin is right there shooting the ball 44. Lefty. It looks like so would not be able to wear that. Uh, on the Celtics. <laughs> Certainly would not, no. But nice little lob. Kevin Cavs Gale is just catches just lobs from everybody. feeding off the lobs. We just watched JD throw him a million. <clears throat> but I mean, he averaged almost six assists on a team that also had a guy he averaged almost nine assists. So that's that's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. Good facilitation good coming from Maine. Yes. Is he a lefty? That was a weird role. Yeah, he is a lefty. He's shooting that floater with his right, so that's a good sign then. <clears throat> looks comfortable both sides. Driving to the right, he looks good. Oof. Nice little, little bounce there for six foot one. There you go. All these guys are like just over six feet. They look really small. Yeah. Nice pass. Can Cab finish? Yes, sir. <clears throat> there you go, Cab. Weird we're not seeing Cab anymore. I, I mean, I, I get it a little bit. It feels like he's maybe hit his limit on the summer league too. Yeah. He might just, Oh, maybe. Yeah. That's also true. Mm, look at him drive. Very comfortable going right for a lefty. I'll say that. It's too bad. They let some manage go. Yeah. Utah took him up. Celtics didn't have an easy spot for him though. He nice finish. His body, steals the defender. Good job. <clears throat> this is a close game too. You, you put up a triple double in a game where it was not, and he's not empty stats here. Nope, nice not floater. empty stats, helping the team battle back, climb back. Mm -hmm. Keep it a minute. Yeah, man. Oh, oh that was a nice move. He could have kicked that out to some man, and she, he tricked both defenders. That was real nice. I think that's John. They're just Tate. giving him the baseline. <clears throat> yeah. Quick trigger. Bang. I think that's John T. Porter, Michael Porter Jr.'s brother in the middle for the herd, number four. Really? In case you're wondering, yeah. You didn't got know that was a thing. Wow. Yeah, he just got stripped. Yeah. Take foul. Cab calling for it. Oh, they were playing a target score in this one because it was overtime. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, getting closer. Big jumper. Oh, this is oh, the game winner if it goes. Does he hit, does he hit the game winner Must. here? Look at him go. No, Nobody where's the cares. No, no one cares? Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> nice little floater, too. 
Soft touch on the rim. There you go. Uh, we also have his college highlights from his time at Butler. Uh, again, he averaged 16, 5.6, and 3.3. Seems like he elevated his game in the G League a little bit, which is a pretty good sign. Um, I don't know. Excuse me. I, I don't know how many minutes he'll get on this summer league team with JD Davis and some of the other guards they have. But uh, well, he we'll played see. with JD in Maine, so <laughs> mm -hmm. of course Number it's three. different. It's a showcase. Yeah. And I mean, they. All, my point was they also have like. You know, Michael Mulder on the team. They have uh, Delano Banton on the team. So he, he could be fighting for some minutes there. But we'll see. They, they seem to like him enough in Maine to, to get him on the Summer League roster. There's only two Maine Celtics on the Summer League roster. It's him and Kiss and Lalsa. <clears throat> we'll have to uh, we'll have to see. JD, technically. Uh, yeah, but I count him and uh, Chimpenny as Celtics guys rather than just Maine guys. Agreed. But <clears throat> fair enough. Uh, see a lot of people excited for Champagne too. Maybe we should yeah, I guess we didn't react to him. Part. Yeah, but he was on the team. It feels different. We could. We can do an extra one sprinkled in if you want, but we don't have to. Uh, That's fine. <clears throat> we'll see. Champ we'll, we'll react to Champagne in Summer League, undoubtedly. He'll get some minutes. But <clears throat> Butler looks comfortable. He, he he looks like he's just... He seems like a high IQ guy from what we've seen. He's always in the right place. He's shoot. always making a good reads. Catch and shoot. Missoula loves that. <clears throat> Missoula loves to see that. So. Yeah, man. Wow, he's just feeling it in this game. I wish I cared more about college basketball. I just don't. <laughs> it's a fun game. Are they playing? No, the highlights aren't good to weird. watch, but I wish I just followed it more. Yeah, me too. Get a good read on these players coming into the league too. Maybe that's our our our, uh, our plan for next year. Say maybe we watch some college ball. It won't hurt. <laughs> We should start by watching more NBA. <clears throat> yeah. It was more league. I will say one thing about Baldwin is it's a surprise he went undrafted a little bit just because of his ability to create. He looks very comfortable yeah, with the ball looks in his solid. hands, looks able to create his shot against his own, like getting a didn't bulk get, of the attention. Didn't get NBA contracts either. He he didn't do much. Um, he did play internationally uh, the season before this past year, so we can take a look at those stats too after this. Um, <clears throat> but... Yeah, man, didn't get it. Didn't get a chance. It's definitely a bit Butler weird, like you said. It's very good. What do you say? Butler team is very good. Fifth. <clears throat> yeah. He was a big part of that, obviously. <clears throat> Deep range three there from him. Was he the best player on this Butler team? I don't think so. Who I just there? can't remember who was. I, I can't remember. I don't remember think they had anybody was. else. I think we would know. <clears throat> no, nah, I feel like we're forgetting somebody. Sean McDermott. He's a uh, he's been in the NBA. He was their best player. Uh, no, Kamar Baldwin was the leading scorer on this team. Yeah, actually, That's when crazy. I hear Sean McDermott, I think of the Bills coach. <clears throat> yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> he so looks good though. That, can't be that great. <laughs> he looks in control. That that's what I'm I'm picking up from this. Like he just looks like he knows where to be and what to do a lot of the time. I and think there's a too. lot to be excited about with the summer league team. I think they might. Maybe they win. <laughs> Could run it. I, he also played with Celtics le legend uh, Keelan Martin. Remember that from the... Uh... <laughs> Remember Keelan Martin? <laughs> no. <laughs> he was one of, the, uh, one of the 10 days. COVID pickups. Oh, one of the Celtics COVID legend. guys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I'm usually pretty good at remembering these guys that just come along. Chris Babb, Celtics legend. This guy's a good passer. He's just he feels well rounded. It feels like if he was six five, he'd be on an NBA team. Does that make sense? Probably would. Yeah. He's six one, probably gets targeted on defense. We haven't seen mm -hmm. defensive highlights in any of this. Not that that's usually how these videos go. Also, but it's a Sam, big piece of why these guys are in the league. It's because they can play both ends. Remember when you said Juwan Morgan wore four for the Celtics? Ke Keelan Martin also wore four for the Celtics. Oh. oh. There you go. Quick trigger. <clears throat> Quick trigger. Another close game. Wait, are we about to see is this another game winner we're about to watch? <clears throat> Wait. He just he just yep. over <laughs> against Villanova. <clears throat> Who was he? Was that over anybody we know? Let's take a look here. Uh probably was. Is Number... that Colin Gillespie? That's Colin Gillespie, right? Yeah, it might be. <clears throat> yeah. That's a that's a big game, too. That's an upset game. Wow. Marquette. Was any NBA player on this Marquette team? Mm. 
It feels like there was somebody from Probably too, a years too ago. early. No. I'm not I sure. don't know, man. Hey, Kamar Baldwin looks good. I, I, I'm excited to watch him in the G League. I think we get a good feel for his highlights. Uh, I think these are just getting a little stale. <laughs> we don't have to roll through it uh, the rest of the time. But uh, like Sam and I keep saying, I, I am very excited to watch the Summer League team this year. I don't know how many minutes Kamar Baldwin will get. Sam, we've, we've done how many? This is our last Summer League series. A lot. I need you to rank them. And I, I can I have the list here for you. I need you to rank them in terms of excitement in case you okay. I, I can get them okay. for you here. I would say J.D. Davison is number one. Yep. Behind him is Azubuki. Yep. Okay. Then uh, I would say Vincent Valeria Budon. Ooh, you really like that guy. You're you're yep. hype for him. Then okay. I would say Jordan Walsh. Okay. And then you are missing Jay Scrub. Oh, Banton. Banton goes above mm-hmm. Azubuki. He's second behind okay. J.D. You're missing Justin Bean, Kiss and Lol, Jay Scrub, and Balcherowski. Jay Scrub's going to be an interesting one. Mm-hmm. Now that we've Venus. gotten to watch all these other guys, I'm not sure if he's actually going to get a lot of minutes. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, Kiss and Lol is another guy that's kind of interesting as we go into this because <laughs> mm-hmm. he looks like he could contribute to an NBA team at times, but people in the replies said he's not a very good defender, fouls yeah, a lot. lost. <clears throat> yeah, from our guy, which is cool because we challenge. watch these things and we're like, "What's wrong with this guy? Why is he yes. not nasty?" Mm-hmm. Agree. And then I couldn't care less about Justin Bean <laughs> or Kis- or Balcherowski. You're out on those two. Yeah, don't care for the white guys. <laughs> Neither of the viewers. <laughs> Just kidding. They like the Olek. They like the Olek. <laughs> Fair enough, though. Uh, anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate. I'll let Sam take us out. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, just like as of now, 770 others. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any breaking videos. We had the Grant Williams one come out earlier in the week, uh, today, when we're recording this. And you want to stay up to date with us, make sure you follow us on the podcast platforms too. That way you don't miss any of the full-length pods that also go on YouTube. Leave a nice five-star review on the Spotify and Apple platforms. Nice comments, only nice things there. You can follow the socials at How About Them Seas, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Facebook is just the name of the podcast, How About Them Celtics. Our live streams go to the YouTube as well as the Facebook, so you want to be there, of course. You can follow Jack on Twitter at Jack Simone NBA. You can follow me on Twitter at Sam LaFrance NBA. That's it for us. Bye. Check, Jacko. Come on.